The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify cellular anchorage-independent growth. This is accomplished by first plating a layer of agar onto the cell culture plate and allowing it to harden. The second step is to plate a mixture of cells and agar over the top of the previous agar layer. Next, the cells are allowed to form colonies over a period of a few weeks. The final step is staining the colonies for visualization and quantification. Ultimately, the soft agar colony formation assay is used to show anchorage-independent growth as an indication of cellular transformation. The main advantage of this technique over other methods, such as the clonogenic assay, is that the soft agar colony formation assay requires cells to form colonies in an anchorage-independent manner. Begin the procedure by labeling each well of a tissue culture treated six well plate appropriately for each cell line or condition being investigated. Next, prepare 2x cell culture medium by dissolving 1 gram of powder medium and 0.2 grams of sodium bicarbonate in the deionized water to a final volume of 50 milliliters. Pass this medium through a 0.2 micron filter. Add additional components needed for normal culture of the cell line of interest. For example, grow CMT-167 cell line in RPMI-1640 medium supplemented with 10% FBS and 1% penicillin streptomycin solution. Warm medium to 37 degrees Celsius in hot water bath prior to use.